All right, go on out. You could give me a kiss. I love you. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Hello, anybody there? This is not the Hello. Santa Claus, Hello. okay, where he's got can, he's can, got a mic in it. <laughs> oh shush! Can anybody hear me? Alex, are you there? Oh my god. This one would work. You are so special. Beep, 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 beep. Calling North Pole. Anybody <laughs> there? <laughs> Give me a kiss and let mummy get on. <laughs> Give me a kiss. I love you. <laughs> Shut the door. Anybody there? Love you, Baba. Hi, I'm Victoria McLean and welcome to my two boxes of Geekia channel. <laughs> little bugger uh, right okay we have two boxes of geek gear to show you today because I have been sent their new house box and I also have their special edition box so if you'd like to see what's inside this box maybe some Christmas stuff then keep on watching if you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you then why not subscribe to my channel let's get started <gasps> So today I am using the beautiful Flair Delacours wand because in my eyes this is a Christmassy wand because obviously uh, it was the whole Yule Ball situation and oh my god if I could have I would have worn my bow baton costume but it's just so warm in this house honestly I am cooking in this jumper it is so lovely and warm and you keep asking me where this gorgeous jumper is from it is from Primark it was released a couple of years ago and they have actually released them since but obviously with everything going on this year i don't think they've been re-released this year but maybe next year let's hope because it's so soft okay so i have just received the special edition wizardry box from geek gear and i have also been sent by geek gear their house boxes which have just been released you could pre-order these ages ago and um, but they are just shipping now so if you this is the obviously the ravenclaw version so i really want to get into this box first first of all i'd like to say a merry christmas eve eve to everybody this is the last video before christmas day and then i'm hoping to do one for boxing day showing you everything i've had for christmas but today, Merry Christmas everybody. If you haven't seen my Christmas video with all the beautiful messages, then check out the link above. It has been so beautifully received by everybody, including a few special messages from Stan Yeski, Victor Crumb, and Oliver Phelps, George Weasley. So make sure that you check out that video. So here we have the Harry Potter house box. Now the difference with this house box is, you can see all the content online. They've already shown what's in these boxes, but I've got to be honest, the pin badge in this box looks outstanding so I have to have a look at that I can't wait so thank you Geeky for sending this to me <coughs> so obviously we have a t-shirt it's geek gear of course we got a t-shirt um, so we have a t-shirt let's show that we've got loads of cardboard spaghetti as always oh we've got lots of parcels oh it's properly wrapped oh wow I wonder what's in that okay so we have <coughs> I'm copying still we have a gorgeous Ravenclaw inspired jumper now this for me is definitely something I would wear one because it's black two because it's Ravenclaw and three this fabric is so pretty um, and of course the print is gorgeous and of course we haven't got a raven we have an eagle and it's also still in the Ravenclaw colors as well uh, so what have we got here we've got magic theory book of spells magical potions and history of magic books down there so I actually really like that print that is beautiful it's nice to see it up close and personal actually that is really really lovely do you know we've got so much to do today I'm getting these videos done as quickly as possible because we've got the house such a mess okay my desk area which you've all seen um is now going to be transformed into the table from Hogwarts Great Hall I've got to clear everything away from the Christmas tree in the other room and in here it's just a mess I've got boxes and boxes of stuff from Star Race which obviously going to be a video coming up and I also have an incredibly exciting video coming up next week now I want you to tell me 
out of all the videos that I have done this year for subscription boxes, which videos have been your favourite and your favourite subscription box? I have already asked you this, but this is something that's incredibly special, so you really do need to pay attention. And then hopefully next week, you can't see it here. No, you can't see it, it's fine. There's a hint to the video on my shelves, which I have been leaving as an Easter egg for the last couple of videos. Uh, so you need to uh, keep an eye out for that. But it is going to be very exciting. So we have a mug. I did like the look of these mugs. We have a Ravenclaw mug. Oh my god, it's quite bulky. Let's open that. Oh, it's no, we don't need to. It comes out. Oh my god, look at that. That is a lush mug. That's proper hot chocolate mug, that is. That's a mug you want for your hot chocolate. In fact, actually, that is a mug I want anyway. This has been made by Pal um, Pyramid International. Oh my God, that is so stunning. And of course, whichever box you choose will be your house mug. So that is actually really, really lovely. And this is, of course, an officially licensed item as well by Warner Brothers. So that's really nice. So as I'm gonna use it, I'm chucking the box away. Okay, so we have a beautifully wrapped parcel. I can't remember what else is in this box other than the mug and the pin. Oh, I've seen the pin. Turned it over quickly because I want to see it properly. Right, so we have a beautifully wrapped parcel. Just here. So let's have, oh, I don't want to take the ribbon off. Oh my God, this ribbon's so pretty. So we've got a beautifully wrapped parcel. I've said that three times now, haven't I? <laughs> I can see a bit of colour. Oh, is that a scarf? Oh my god, that is a scarf! That is gorgeous! Oh my god, look at that! That is absolutely, oh my god, that is beautiful! That is such a beautiful scarf, Geekia. That is absolutely gorgeous. It's so gorgeous and it's obviously been handmade, hand knitted. That is beautiful. Do you know what? I'm warm, but I'm keeping it on for the video because that is such a beautiful scarf. So we have a note, but I'm still not looking at that pin. We have a, oh wow, that's beautiful. We have a, um, a officially licensed Ravenclaw notebook. So I'm gonna take it out of the packaging. This is really nice to have so many officially licensed items. That is beautiful. It is a Ravenclaw notebook. Look at that. And again, by Pyramid International. That is so pretty. Let's take this packaging off. Because this ain't going anywhere. This is a Ravenclaw one. I'm not getting rid of this. Okay, and you've got a space for your little pen there. So if you've got a Ravenclaw pen, look at that. Isn't that stunning? That is beautifully made. Oh my God, look at the inside. Look at that. That is so beautiful. And the margins of the pages are blue as well. Oh, you've got Hogwarts written at the bottom of the pages there. That is beautiful. That is such a beautiful notebook. Thank you so much, Geek Gear, for sending me this box. This is lovely. It's a Geek Gear exclusive and officially licensed. Again, another officially licensed item. It is the Hogwarts school list poster. That is actually really lovely. Can you imagine, right, putting that in a really nice, like, dark, mysterious frame? or um, an old antique wooden frame or something. That would look beautiful in that. Look at that, that's stunning. And if you can see it clearly there, look at that. That is so pretty. Hogwarts School List uniform, three sets of plain work robes, black, one plain pointed hat. And of course in the films, you only see the pointed hats in Philosopher's Stone uh, because they're all wearing them at the end feast at the end of year feast. Obviously they're not wearing them then for the rest of the films. So they were quite nice actually. I quite liked those hats. You used to be able to buy those hats as well. Right, so here we have, oh wow. This pin is just outstanding. That is one of the best pins we've had this year. That is so beautiful. Look at that. And of course, oh, is it Gryffindor and Slytherin tie? So that must be 
Oh no, Gryffindor slightly above. So Gryffindor, this would be from the Philosopher's Stone era because Gryffindor just beat Slytherin there by a few points. Ravenclaw, uh, at the bottom. <laughs> and Hufflepuff third. That is stunning, Geek Gear. Absolutely stunning. Now I have no idea where that's going to go on my shelf. But believe me when I say it's going on my shelf. Okay, I will find a spot for it. Right, okay, so that is the end of that beautiful house box. Now, there will be a link below to the house box and make sure that you use my discount code, Victoria10, for your 10% off at Geekia. So we have, we'll put these things to one side, which are beautiful. I can't wait to use that mug. Proper can't wait to use that mug. That is lush. So next is going to be the special edition box. So I have no clue as to what is in this box. I have got no clue whatsoever. But it's really nice to have received this and do two beautiful unboxings um, before Christmas Day. So let's open it. I don't know if many people do these unboxings online. So I don't know if you've seen what's in it or... So as always, we have a sweatshirt and a t-shirt to start off. So we have a grey, I do love grey, you know I love my grey. So we have a grey t-shirt. I love the fabric, the fabric's so soft. So what's that? Uh, P.S. The bird bites. Oh wicked, so that's obviously a reference to the letter that Harry receives from Sirius Black in Goblet of Fire. Um, he reads it just after he asks Cho to go to the Yule Ball with him. And she has to refuse because obviously, out of being polite, somebody had already asked her. That is so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Who would you like to ask? Uh, who would you like for, for, to ask you to go to the Yule Ball? Put the comments down below. Who would you take to the Yule Ball? Well, you all know who I'd take to the Yule Ball. I'd take um, Victor Crumb. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, I would definitely have taken Victor Crumb. Very jealous of Hermione on that. But I was talking to Stan actually about the costumes because uh, the costumes were um, wool, real, real wool. And he can't have wool touching his skin. I've got a funny feeling about wool. This is so soft, but you know, real wool when it's like proper kind of scratchy. Um, they make my teeth go weird. Um, but uh, Stan was saying that he actually had to wear a all-in-one, um, like a long john sort of thing underneath his outfit, his uh, Yule Ball outfit, as well as the wool outfit. And during takes, the makeup team would come over and put fans uh, just down in the area so he could feel a little bit cooler because it was so warm. I have to say kudos to you Stan for doing that. Um, I think it was absolutely crazy. If I got that wrong let me know on Instagram all right. I'll chat to you later. Um, but uh, but yes I think that um, he is an absolute angel for doing that, for actually having that outfit on, which were beautiful. That scene when they're all dancing and you see the red cakes go around. I actually had people come to my Yule Ball I did in 2017 wearing those outfits. It was so magical. So the next shirt, oh, I can see replicas. <laughs> okay, the next shirt, right, this is the long sleeve, so Daniel will get this. No ink required. I wonder who that is a little nod to. That is clearly a nod to Dolores Umbridge. If that's the case, I might keep it. <laughs> I love Umbridge. She's the evilest person in the world, but she's so good at playing that part uh, in Melda Staunton. Did you know she's playing the Queen in The Crown now in season five? I'm so excited. And Melda Staunton is amazing. Um, but that is so cool. No ink required. Look at that quill. Poor Harry for going through that love. She was an evil witch, wasn't she? But she was played so brilliantly by Melda Staunton. So you can't help respect. You hate the character, but respect the actress. So we have a new mug. So let's have a look. This is an officially licensed item. So this mug is actually really lovely. Thestrals are only visible, only visible by those who have seen death. So I couldn't see the by those. So that's a really beautiful mug there. 
isn't that gorgeous so that is obviously a an officially licensed mug by warner brothers but that is so beautiful we don't see enough thestral stuff so we have a lovely mug in that box then we have one of their amazing uh boxes that has surprised us so much and um, in the last geek gear box um there was a gorgeous slug on hourglass and it was an identical hourglass to the ones that you can buy but it was a mini version if you haven't seen that then check out the link above because it was so incredible so people are getting really excited about their replicas at the moment so oh okay we have an owl with a wax seal in its mouth oh my god that's gorgeous Look at that ornament! Is that the Howler from Chamber of Secrets? It's a gold... That looks like that... Is that Errol? Because it looks very, very old. Is that Errol with the Howler for Ron? <laughs> I love it! That is so good! Oh, he's going there. I love that. That's beautiful. So the next item in the box is a wand, divination wand. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Let's have a look. Oh, that's different. That's actually very pretty. I assume, obviously, these are the moon, uh, cycles of the moon just here. And then we have what looks like a divination's crystal ball on the top. And then I'm not sure what this is meant to be. It's like a silver, almost like an ice detail just there. So that's beautiful. Very Christmassy um, for the colours. Very Christmassy indeed, actually. That's really pretty. So let's have a look at what it says about this wand. So it's a divination wand. Length 13 and 3 quarter inches. Core moonstone. Wood ash white. So that's beautiful. That is the card just there for you to see. Isn't that gorgeous? So we're still going on. We have a poster which looks officially licensed. Oh wow, I can see what it says on here. Oh my god, look at that! We have a Deathly Hallows Part 2 poster from the films. How amazing is that? That's actually a really nice item to have in one of these boxes. Do you know, I really need to do some sort of Harry Potter marathon. Which film do you think is the most Christmassy to watch? I personally think Philosopher's Stone is the most Christmassy. However... You've also got the Yule Ball in Goblet of Fire. And I always fast forward the first part of Philosopher's Stone when Harry is in the Dursleys because I hate the idea of a child going through that. So, yeah. Um, I will probably watch Goblet of Fire at some point with Monica this in the next couple of days. We haven't got long now, have we, until Christmas. Christmas plans have obviously changed. I was talking, we had a, a beautiful Christmas party last night. Uh, online with my wonderful and incredibly dedicated patrons um, it was an exclusive online Christmas party just for my patrons and we had the most amazing time there were so many of them that turned up and we literally I played Christmas music I don't know if they could hear the Christmas music but I played Christmas music on my computer and we were just all chatting for like an hour and 15 minutes about Christmas, about what they were doing, about what they like collecting and it was just so nice to put faces to names so it was just such a lovely 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 thing so it was a really lovely day and we're going to, we've decided to do it every month now so every month we are going to uh, be doing our uh, Zoom meetings online with my Patreon so I get to speak to them every month face to face properly if you want to join patreon you can join from as little as three pound a month check out the link below but it was so lovely talking to everyone and they all got on really well they started talking to each other it was so nice monica was on hand obviously to uh, help me out because i am useless with technology so we have another officially licensed item now this is actually an incredibly lovely item to have this time of year because it is a diary for 2021 
if in doubt, go to the library. And it's sm it's leather bound and it's beautiful. I love the side there. It's proper kind of like an old fashioned diary, old fashioned book with the gold detailing on the top as well. That is lovely. I really like that. We've got Hermione Granger written just there. So pretty. And then on the back you have the Hogwarts crest as well embedded into the leather. Let's open it up and see. You've got gold around the edges as well. And then inside your beautiful picture, you've got the clock tower just there. And then you can write your details and such there. And you have quite, it's quite a nice wide um, area for you to write actually. So I could use this actually for, actually, 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 for all my meetings that I have because my memory is so bad. Horrific in fact. Well that is the end of that box. So what did you think of this month's special edition? Because obviously it's, it's every two months, it's bi-monthly. But what did you think of this special edition box? What was your favourite item in all these boxes? I loved Errol, the owl, taking the howler. I loved the mug from the first box. I love this scarf. The poster is incredibly lovely. I love the diary. I love the wand. I love the umbridge long sleeve top. I just wish it was a t-shirt, not a long sleeve top. But you can't please everyone, of course. So what did you think? Let me know in the comments below. So that's it. I wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas. And I hope that you get to spend some time with your loved ones, wherever you are in the world. I know there are some people that aren't able to because of restrictions that have happened, but uh, try and, uh, what I, I used to do with my sister because I used to miss her so much. I used to put her, turn the computer on and have the camera running all day. So she would see me, I would see her and we would put it in the most, the busiest room wherever we were. And I would literally have that camera running all day. So technically she was with me for the whole day. Um, and we would do that every single day. And uh, not so much now, unfortunately, but it was, it was a one way of keeping in touch. And that was because of the fact that we lived so far away from each other, not because we just couldn't see each other. So at the end of the day, you can always stay in contact, it's not the same, but you can always stay in contact by video link if you're able to. And just give them a ring in the morning, tell them you're thinking of them, tell them that you love them. I mean, they already know that's the thing. It's not like people don't know. You know, people know that the other person loves them. Just remember to tell them that. Okay, because we tell each other we love each other all the time in this family. It's always I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I kiss, 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 I love you. Always like that. You saw from the video, the Christmas video I did, we're very much a cutty family. But just remember to tell everybody that you love, okay? And keep that video chat going for the rest of the day. Make sure that they can see what you're up to and you can see what they're up to and it'll feel like they're in the room with you, hopefully. So remember that we love you very much, always. And I'm hoping I get to see you guys on Boxing Day and I'll show you what I've had for Christmas. So until then, have a wonderful day. I love you. Take care. And I'll speak to you very, very soon. more of my content take a look at this video right here or this video right here don't forget to like and subscribe